here and welcome back to my channel um, if you're new hello and welcome <coughs> I'm Steph and I am going to be starting in May it'll be um, a new holiday travel series um, and this is my solo trip to Gran Canaria I have bit the bullet and I've booked a five day holiday to Puerto Rico in Gran Canaria me myself and I and I am really, really excited. <clears throat> I feel like when I talk about this, I'm not excited. And I think part of that is because people are expecting it to be rubbish. Um, <clears throat> I've mentioned it to a few people and they've said, oh, you're so brave. To me, being brave is going, what is that? Scott <clears throat> of Jenga. Um, is fighting fires, fighting crime, not going on holiday. Going on holiday is happy, exciting. But do you know what the thought of five days by myself doing whatever I want, which would mainly be sleeping and reading books, is heaven. However, I think I've got myself a pretty full itinerary. I've not booked anything because most of it I'm going to be doing on public transport. Um, I've got a few little bits and bobs that I want to look into but the general gist is I am flying out with Jet 2 from Manchester um, the flight is just before 10am and all being well subject to there not being any delays um, get, taking about an hour to get through security and taking about an hour to get from the coach to the resort because I'm just doing Jet 2's um, free transfer I should get to my apartment about 6pm so that night I'm just going to have some tea and go for a quick walk around the area I think it'll stay light till about 8ish so at least I should be able to see and um, I'm staying at a hotel called Kalina Mar and I have stayed there before but it's a long time ago I can't even remember <coughs> when it was so maybe 15, 18 years ago um, I feel like going here is one of those places that doesn't really change and I don't mean that in a bad way and I don't necessarily mean that in a good way either um, <coughs> so <coughs> it will be interesting to see um, I'm also going all inclusive. Now this hotel has only got a two key official rating and I think Jet2 rates it as three stars or whatever system they use. However, I've read a lot of TripAdvisor reviews and I think I will be fine with the food. There's a lot of salad, there's a lot of grilled meat um, and I think I feel like a lot of people that have been negative were expecting five star quality for two star prices um the other reason i've booked all inclusive is because it was only 120 pounds dearer than going self catering and i thought at least if i do get the fear and don't want to eat in a restaurant alone eating at an ai buffet alone won't feel as bad um, plus, I, I've worked it out and roughly what you would pay for breakfast out and a couple of drinks during the day will more than cover that AI top up. My plan for my first whole day of the Sunday is to go down to Puerto Rico Beach. Even though I've stayed in Puerto Rico a lot, I've never been on the beach there I don't think if I have not sat on some there now my hotel is right at the top of a hill and there is 700 steps to get down to the beach my initial plan is to walk down um, it's about 4 or 5 euros in a taxi but I'm thinking and I have done it before a long time ago maybe 20 how old am I now? 22 years ago um, 
but the way the steps work is you kind of go down a step come to a road and there's a few hotels go on a corner go down a few more steps so at any point if i kind of can't do it i can just go to one of the hotels and get a taxi from there which is spurring me on but i'm determined to do it downhill fine it's fine um i'm not necessarily going to go and sit and sunbathe on the beach but i'm definitely going to go and see it and then I'm going to have like a bit of a wander around there. I've, I've been told about a couple of bars and restaurants. So I'm going to go and check those out, see where they are. See if they look like somewhere that I would feel comfortable sitting on my own for a meal. Like, go, just going in for a drink in like a cafe, absolutely no problem. I would go in uh, like to a Costa on my own and have lunch and sandwich. And there is always McDonald's that has those touch screens and I think they have table service and they sell beer. Um, so if I do get traumatised, there is always a McDonald's. <laughs> but I'm thinking it's not going to come to that. I may have to have a McFlurry if they do the Nestle Crunch ones. But I, I doubt that. I don't know. I don't know. Um, anyway, so day two afternoon and then I'm just going to get a taxi back up and go around the pool maybe get a bit is that Carol? yes it is um, maybe get a bit of light lunch around the pool and just chill out and then I'm just going to meet in the hotel that night day three I'm going to have breakfast at the hotel I might have an hour or so around the pool and then I'm going to get the bus over to the next resort which is play at Port of Magan. I've got two options to get there actually. I could get the bus which would cost about three, three euros, ten, three euros, fifty um, for two tickets there and back I mean. Or I can get a ferry which is twelve euros return. And I'm tempted to do the ferry. I've done the ferry once many years ago. Actually, last time I stayed at Kalida Mar. But when we got there, I suddenly realised that I hadn't shut the safe and had the fear and had the panic. And we ended up getting a taxi back and they had shut it. Or room service had come in and closed it. Room service? No. The but the called housekeeping but it was shut it was locked and everything was still in it if it had just been me and mum i wouldn't have been worried but we'd gone with a colleague from work my mum would call her a friend i would call her a colleague um it's another story for a different day okay so mcgann lunch out um it's quite a nice little historic -y city very pretty um stay there for a couple of hours i probably can go on the bus with it being cheap and i've done the bus so many times and it's a nice if not scary roller coaster of a bus journey um if the road is still open because it's like literally on the edge of a hill cliff so that's sunday monday tuesday i'm gonna go to Las Palmas which is the capital city I would tell you it's for the culture and the um, historic sites but it's actually because they've got a really big Primark um, other shops are available because they also have a flying tiger so excited I wanted to wave my flying tiger pen at you but it's not here and it's also not the tiger and it's not flying um, <clears throat> yeah that is about 16 euros on the bus and it takes an hour um, it's an express service so it doesn't stop too often I think if you were to get the normal bus it would take about four hours so I'm not doing that I'm gonna get the express bus which is the 91 it's also the airport bus I'm, I'm learning so many things what else am I gonna do so that is the tours day Wednesday is officially a bank holiday it's Labor Day in Spain um, I'm pretty confident that the resorts don't take any notice of that. You might have a few people who work in offices off, but all the bars and restaurants and everything are still open as normal. Um, but the capital city will be shut 
and I'm not falling for that so I'm definitely not going there on that day. The thing with Europe which I, I'm sure a lot of people know but I'm sure equally as many people don't know is that generally in Europe when it's a bank holiday <clears throat> they will close on the actual date so the 1st of May is Labour Day doesn't matter what day that falls on that will be a bank holiday but generally what sometimes happens is if it was to fall on a Tuesday they might also have the Monday off as well to make it a nice long weekend um, and then I think if it does fall on a Saturday Sunday sometimes it will have the Friday Monday off as well um, so you kind of you need to check especially if you're going to want to go I mean 16 euros isn't a lot of money but generally if you're spending 16 euros to go somewhere and you can't do anything when you're there and you're not most of the cafes and restaurants and things are shut it is it is a waste so I've checked that up but what I'm going to do is I'm going to in Grand Canary everything tends to be in commercial centres so I'm going to look up the websites of the commercial centres and just make sure that they um, are showing that they're open on these dates that I'm going. Okay, so that would be the Tuesday, the Wednesday, which is actually Labor Day, 1st May. I am planning on not leaving my hotel. I'm just going to lie around the pool, read my book, and just generally do what I plan to do all of the other days. Um, eat, sleep, sunbathe, repeat. And then on Thursday, I have to come home. What is quite good at this hotel is I've got resort check-in um, or resort bag drop. So um, jet tube reps and a lorry come round to each hotel. Um, you get an appointed time and it's usually fairly early in the morning. So if you miss it, it's not the end of the world because you just take the cases on the bus that picks you up and you just check them in as normal. But resort check-in, I've done once or twice before um, and it's it's really handy so you just have to send your cases and one person in your party so in this case that would be me um, to reception at an appointed time and you have um, usually a couple of jet to staff and a set of portable scales they'll wear your case they'll print off the barcode tag that generally the same as normal check-in apart from they don't doesn't go on that conveyor belt to the bowels of the airport um another couple of lovely people come out and stick it in the back of a lorry um and then they drive it to the airport for you and then they queue up <laughs> and check it in because i've seen them do it in lanzarote and it seems to take forever but i suppose it's better than lugging my case around with me um, and then my flight home, it's raining again, it's about 3 o'clock, so 3 o'clock, I imagine I will be picked up from around from the hotel about half 11, 12 o'clock-ish, <coughs> because even though at that point you kind of class as a hand luggage only passenger, um, because not everybody will have checked that in because people either haven't wanted to get up for it, people forgot about it, um, things like that. You, they still have to get you there two hours before so that you can check in. Um, I, I, it's, I can't remember what I was at Grand Canary Airport, I don't think there's a lot of stuff to do. So the less time spent there the better. And coming home so I was a bit of a dab on her. I am planning on vlogging, I'll definitely be doing a travel day. Um, I'm hoping to try and do a video per day and then I might even try and do a separate one on the food that I eat. I will try and do little clips for the vlog but then I might actually do a combined video of what I have eaten in each day. I don't know. I don't know yet. It's, I, I literally booked this last Thursday? Wednesday. And it's Sunday today. So I possibly should have written down what I wanted to say and tell you what I like. Maybe I should have put some makeup on because I didn't actually tell my vlog because it's a Sunday today. Um, that I was going to do that but I I haven't. And I'm not really bothered. So I'm going to shoot off. 
sorry this is a bit all over the place you know what I'm like I need to I need to center myself um however if you're looking forward to my holiday as much as I am give me a big thumbs up if you're not leave a comment saying squash tomatoes if you are looking forward to it leave me a comment saying McFlurry or you tell me your favorite flavor of McFlurry and I'm really hoping no one likes squash tomato flavor of McFlurries uh, thank you very much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and leave me a little comment and I will see you next time <laughs>